very warm welcome, a very, very special welcome. <laughs> so, thank you so much, Evelyn, for being with us again. I think this is my third solo show with you. And in between, there was the, the many prizes, like the Blade Prize, which is uh, um, right behind you over here, displayed, and there was the Malawara non-acquisitive one, yeah. and a lot of other things. So this is actually the latest body of work of Evelyn Cortine's wonderful, meditative, patiently assembled works. And you will find quite a lot of new um, uh, genres in it. Like, for instance, the first wall over there. Uh, this is something that I have not so far never seen. <clears throat> These are the, uh, the distressed leaf and the constructive works and the handkerchief works. So this is something, to me, very new. I don't know if you know this kind of body of work. Then, of course, those amazing triptychs. You see those ones uh, on the wall, which is this here is my absolute favorite. It is, um, as I always say, it's a very colorful exhibition. It's a very colorful exhibition, but it is because of the space. And, and for instance, in this one, it is white, but it is totally colorful. <laughs> and because of that, the assemblance, the way you connect uh, and assemble the works, apart, of course, from those ones who are, you know, they're really colorful, they are so peaceful, and yet they're so alive and so happy. So I think this is a very happy show, isn't it? You're happy? You're feeling happier than before? That's very good. So this is the effect of it. That's fantastic. You couldn't ask for more. You couldn't ask for more. So let's treasure and be very appreciative of that beautiful moment here tonight with lovely people who are art-minded, who love Evelyn, who love me, who love the gallery. So this is a lovely, lovely energy. And so Agata was doing an internship here for about half a year now, and uh, she learned, she learned a lot. So today, or last, with the last exhibition, also today, we did, uh, well, at, le at least the end of it, we, we sort of tried to say, how would you like to hang it? What, what is the natural feel for it to place the last two works? And, uh, and so they really got an explicit training how to curate, how to do the administration, how a whole gallery runs. And not only this, Agata was with me at the Melbourne Art Fair, so she was assisting me there, which is a hell of a job. You know, it looks all very glamorous, but believe me, it is not. It is unpacking, <laughs> packing, bubble wrapping off, taking the rebels off, hanging. So we, most of the time we're in jeans. We only put the nice things on when you guys come. <laughs> <laughs> so Agata had actually a full experience of what a gallery or what gallery work is like <coughs> and that is quite extensive because I'm exhibiting also in Germany, in Hong Kong, in Australia and now the art fair in Melbourne. Mm -hmm. So very often she was here by herself with Enrica uh, when I was in Germany, when I was in Hong Kong because this year is my 25th anniversary. I started my gallery in Cologne in 1989 and I'm still there, yeah! <laughs> because many of my colleagues in Germany and in Australia have closed their shop. I have to travel the world to serve my collectors all around the world, and they keep buying, thank you so much. <laughs> and um, I sometimes have to really send out really a big thank you to my international collectors because they really keep me going here to really keep an operation like this going. So you also have to say thank you to them. That keeps me being able to show these wonderful Australian artists here and overseas, because without their money, I would not be able to run an operation like this. And this is down to fact. And I always like to point this out, because my intention is to really educate people, help the artists, and bring something back into society which is very vital and very, very important. So this is the spiritual aspect of life, which I find is the most important of all. That keeps us happy. <laughs> <clears throat> but you know, I always like to look at my team and see who is having the best of abilities and how can I use them the best to make a powerful team. So Enrica, she helps me mm -hmm. lift and cart and carry things all around. So um, it's really amazing. So she's also doing internship and she gets the all-round treatment of how to run a gallery and how to do the administration because the administration is extensive. You cannot believe it, you know, before an exhibition, after an exhibition. So we have uh, Evelyn here tonight and she's from Perth and she's like an overseas artist because these works come by air like 
overseas. Mm. Yeah. So we have lots and lots of cartons and crates. And this is another section of the gallery that you actually don't see. But when you sometimes visit my backstage, you can actually see them. Because some people ask, why do you have so many wooden crates? Well, that's why. <laughs> so Evelyn, would you like to say something? Oh, he's going to stay working. Thank you for allowing me this opportunity. It's wonderful. And your support. And that's all. Intelligent. Now, what about for your work? No, I say you that. <laughs> If I give a talk, I will okay. I'm losing my voice a little bit. Yeah. Okay, good excuse. Yeah. <laughs> On Saturday we have uh, an artist talk breakfast, and uh, you're very welcome to come from 11 to 12.30 this coming Saturday here. Breakfast, artist talk, they are a runner at the moment. We're, we're organizing them this the beginning of this year, and they've been very successful. It's a very lovely atmosphere, mm -hmm. just with about say 15, 20 people in a very intimate atmosphere with the artists. So, you know, it's, it's very nice. Okay, thanks a lot. Enjoy the wine, enjoy the show, and please buy something. That's why they're here. And I know a lot of you are big collectors of, uh, of, uh, of Evelyn. That's really wonderful. So thank you for the support to support the artists. So Evelyn, I have one last question. This body of work that we see here, perhaps without the uh, Blade Prize, how long did you work on these works? Because as you can see, they're very time intensive. And, and some of you get uh, fall unconscious seeing the work involved, in, particularly in something like this. <laughs> you know, they're little tiny bits and pieces all sewn on individually, uh, but then cut up as, uh, as well, and plus presented and framed nicely. So how long did you work oh, on that? about 18 months worth of work. So it is nearly two years, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Because um, you must have started with that um, at the end of... The it's part of a continuum that just sort of keeps coming. And I keep thinking I'm using things up, but I don't. Mm. Use them up, I keep making more somehow. Well, but Giles, just so you know, she cut up two paintings of yours again. Did you see that? <laughs> She told me in the back, it's those very strong burgundy, red burgundy ones. They're Giles' paintings all cut up, so there you go. Have a look. I do have to say, they were on their way to the bin. I wasn't <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for saying that. <laughs> okay, okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, she wants to give you some oh, Thank you. Congratulations. Good. 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 Thanks a lot for your love. Thank you for your love. Oh, yeah. 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 Y